take the time to just share with you how I feel right now. I, I suppose there'll be a time for other speeches, but right now I just want to share with you how I feel. I feel really overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed when I look out at a room full of people that I love and, and I, I work with every day and who bring so much to the life of the college and I just felt overwhelmed. And when I look at Sister Jean and Sister Barbara, Sister Joan and Days, I felt overwhelmed. And then when I look at St. Mother Theodore, these are truly big shoes to fill and I only wear a five and a half. <laughs> So, I, I, I've got like six words on here, and that's a little dangerous when I'm off script, but I, I, I just want to convey to you some, some uh, feelings in my heart right now. I feel really honored by the decision of the search committee and by the board of trustees. I feel honored by the confidence that they're placing in me right now. I know all that they do and give up and sacrifice to serve the college, and so I will try to live up to that confidence. I feel truly humbled by the faith that the Sisters of Providence are, are, are sharing with me. I am a person of faith, and I've learned to love them, but just to entrust this, which is most precious, that she began, I, I'm humbled by that. I feel inspired by the daily work of the faculty and staff who come here and give more than their eight hours work and wear multiple hats and do all that's asked of them. I promise to you to try to work among you and with you and listen to you. And sometimes we'll agree and sometimes we won't, but we can talk. And I just want you to know, as one who came from your midst, I know the daily work. I know what it's like to work here, and I'm inspired by you. I feel committed to the students of the college, past, present, and future. To those of you who may be alums in the room, the woods is an ever-evolving, changing place, and so depending on your years and when you graduated, it's, it's, it's different. And yet, there are those things that are so much the same about it, so I promise all of you to remember your stories uh, here at Reunion and at alum events, and I'll remember what's special about the woods to you and try to preserve that which is most special. And to the current students and the future students, we commit and I commit myself to, to providing the best educational experience and to enabling you to become, most of you women, who find your voice and never lose it, who are passionate about what you believe in, and who live out the, the life of Mother Theodore every day in all of the roles that you take on after you leave us. I feel really supported by my family. I only have one family member here right now, it's my husband. But they daily sacrifice so that I can do this job. They have learned to do laundry and cook <laughs> and carpool. And I have always felt supported by my family, but in this last year, more than ever. So it's a sacrificial thing that they go through so that I can do this job. And I asked their permission, and they all voted yes. And I asked them more than one time. I drove them a little crazy because it was like we would be driving in the car, and I would say, okay, we're going to vote again. And they're like, ah. But nonetheless, they have been so supportive. And mostly I feel blessed by a God who loves us, a provident God who calls us to our amount of work on this life. And in the midst of the work, there's joy and challenge and, and all of the things that go with it. But the blessings are always there. And I feel truly blessed by him. And do you ever think about, when you think about like St. Mother Theodore and her, her companions, that it's really the same God and the same love and the same feelings that we feel our lives are very different from theirs, but we, should, we, we can share that, and, and what a blessing that is. There are a lot of challenges before the college right now, and even more potential, because I think challenge and opportunity are really the same thing, just depending on which way you look at it. And I'm really excited to, to see where we can go together and, and, and what St. Mary of the Woods can be. And last
last night as I was trying to calm myself, I was reading some of the words of Mother Theodore, and there are so many Sisters of Providence in the room, I dare not quote, I'm gonna paraphrase. <laughs> but she was talking about the pathway to becoming a saint. So I, I, even as I read that, I thought, did she know? <laughs> but she, she was talking about that pathway, and I was really struck by this. She was saying, paraphrasing, that it's not doing anything extraordinary. It's doing the ordinary, day after day, and doing it for the love of God. And that's my promise. Thank you.